What is going on? Guys, time has finally come. Uh, I think a lot of people have been waiting for this one. Um, it's in the name, man. Silly Runner with the P. People are like, what? Uh, what's the P about? What is the P? Are you funny or are you doing something different? And I'm doing something different. Although I think I also have a sense of humor. Um, mushrooms is what I'm doing different. So since day one, I mean, I literally ran my first 50K on about an eighth of mushrooms. So been doing this for a while. <clears throat> if you followed for a while, you probably have caught on. I talk about it every now and then, but man, this company, Muse, Muse Mushrooms. Um, they have sent me a little package. I teased this in the uh, shoe unboxing of the Cam Haynes Speedland shoe. But yeah, we're gonna go through this today. We're gonna open it up and see what's in there. And man, I'm excited. I've tried one or two of these before, but there is some new stuff in here. All right, so let's dive into the box. Ooh, we got a little, got a little note here. Welcome to the wondrous world of Muse. Whether you're new to the game and curious about microdosing for wellness or an experienced uh, macro doser, Muse has many ways to help you live life more vividly. Uh, they offer four amazing products to help introduce you to the world of mushrooms. Um, they have a micro, a flow, a chew, and a choco. Uh, most questions can be answered in our enclosed dosing guide, but if you can, or but you can always call our VIP line, blah blah blah, for anything. Follow us on My Muse Life on Instagram um, and enlist to set up your modern bar for any private events. Wow, interesting. Um, so yeah, super interesting company. Um, I've taken these a couple of these things before, like I had said. Here's a little microdosing guide. And if you guys aren't familiar with microdosing, if you've never taken mushrooms, um, a lot of people are doing it. Uh, helps a lot. So things like, you know, if you got some anxiety, or if you are dealing with some depression, or if you have none of those things, and you just kind of want to live life more vividly, um, it really enhances all the good things. And I think over time, something like uh, microdosing, microdosing mushrooms can really have like a dramatic effect on your overall state of being. So just how you react to certain things on a daily basis, how you take in information, how you're able to listen. Um, I think it does a lot. Um, yeah, it's obviously different for everybody, but for me, it's been a massive help. Got some stickers here. All right, and let's break into the good stuff. Chew, first thing I have here is some chews. Chew is a microdose experience in a gummy packed with flavor and goodness. With only 55 milligrams per chew, we allow you to decide which part of the pool you want to play in. Nibble on three or four chews for a microdose experience or eat a handful and turn up the colors and invoke the muse. Um, so yeah, pretty much the cool thing about products like this and again, this is 55 milligrams per chew. That's not a lot. Um, so that's like 1 20th of a gram, essentially. So you could really eat this whole bag, I'd, I'd say. I don't know how many are in here. Uh, 36 gummies. Okay, so don't eat the whole bag. Uh, it's two grams total in this bag of mushrooms. So yeah, I would say uh, microdosing, you know, you could take as many as four, like I said, probably five, and that would still be pre like crossing that line of when you wouldn't want to be doing anything too serious i would say um and then moving on the flow so i've tried this product what this is it is let's see 125 milligrams of their proprietary muse blend um psilocybin come on um and then it also has a bunch of other mushrooms so this flow has lion's mane ashwagandha uh theobromine uh, or theobromine, you tell me, Ni niacin, niacin, A, G, P, C, L, theanine, vitamin B6, and trimethylglycine, Trim trimethylglycine. I think there's an L in there they're missing. Um, but yeah, so what this is, is just a mix. So you, these mushrooms all play together when you take them. So you have the psilocybin, then you have all those other ingredients, and uh, it just helps. It really helps to boost the effect of the psilocybin, in my opinion. Um, so these are great. I'll take one or two of these every day. Um, 
and that's my sort of protocol. So up to, yeah, I guess that would be 250 milligrams that I'm doing as a microdose. Um, if I'm using the Flow, haven't tried the Chew yet. I gotta try one of these. Might try one of those on camera. Um, it's Christmas Eve, so why not get festive? Okay, so here we have the micro. This is just um, a microdose. So no other mushrooms, no other ingredients. It's just 125 milligrams of psilocybin. And these are in a little small little capsule. Oh yes. Oh, it's so good, lad. But yeah, I've had these as well. So I've had both the flow and the micro before. Um, and I love them, which is why I reached out to this company to see if they would be willing to send me something, which they have. Now, okay, <clears throat> this is what I'm probably the most excited about. When I was living in California, a big thing, mushroom chocolates, these were everywhere. Um, and I'm so glad, because it's one of the best ways to take mushrooms. I think this is so fast acting. Within like 20, 25 minutes, you start to feel your jaw and your face start to tingle. And, uh, yeah, you know something's about to happen. So this piece of chocolate, I don't exactly know how big it is, it's pretty small. Maybe the size of, what are those little square mints or chocolates that everyone gets around Christmas time? Um, this is about that size. And there's two grams of psilocybin in this whole piece of chocolate. So you could either break that down, have a half gram, you know, full gram, two grams, whatever you wanna do. but. Very excited about that. Um, in my experience, mushroom chocolate is the way to go for sure. So four different items here, um, super excited. So like I said, I've tried these, I've never tried these. These are more of like, if you're gonna macro dose, this is the way to do it. Probably this is the most efficient way because I mean, don't eat 36 gummies. There's no need to eat 36 gummies when you can just have a little bit of chocolate. Um, and then yeah, the different kinds of micros. The flow is my favorite. I really like that one. In my experience, that's perfect. So um, let's get into talking about mushrooms and running. All right, so mushrooms and running. Like I said, my history goes all the way back. As soon as I started trail running, I remember running on the Fullerton Loop. It's like a 10, 11 mile loop in Fullerton, California. And man, I would take some mushrooms, maybe up to a gram before I would go out on a run and just have the best time. Like smiling the whole time, enjoying every moment, taking in all the views, feeling every step under my feet. Um, you just feel so connected. It's different. Um, it's so, so different. And then obviously once I started running ultras and not just trail running on my own, um, you know, it was like from the very first time, my very first 50K, uh, probably overdid it. Um, I had a bunch of capsules, maybe 10 capsules, and it was about an eighth total. And I, over the course of six hours, I had taken all of that. And I remember at the last aid station, I think there was maybe like three, four miles to go. I had, all they had left was strawberries. And I feel like I picked up a strawberry that was half the size of the carton. And who knows, mushrooms, me, big strawberry. We'll never know for sure. But I, I'm running out of this aid station. I have three, four miles to go until I'm done my first 50K. So stoked, everything hurts, but I'm eating this strawberry like an apple and just laughing, having the best time. Get to the finish line, and as soon as I stopped, it's like it, I never really felt like I was like, wow, I'm really, really feeling these mushrooms. But as soon as I stopped, cross the finish line, feet are no longer moving. It was like, ew, like everything caught up to me, hit me like a wall, and uh, yeah. That was awesome too, because then you know you're you're done first ultra, finish this thing, and really first or not, um, it was just it added to that experience, it added to that uh, finish line feeling that we all love so much. So that was great. And then moving forward, as I got more experience doing it, you know I would take less, but still, I mean, when you look at certain races like Angelis Crest 100, that's my 100 mile PR. I probably took close to an eighth of mushrooms over 26 hours. So it was almost like every three, two, three hours, I was taking like a 0.3 or 0.5 grams of mushrooms. And man, I was just in a great headspace that whole time. I like, you know, I suffered, but my mind never really dipped down into some of the historical lows that I've had at other races, um, where maybe I didn't take any mushrooms. Um, 
and just kind of fell victim to what your mind can do um, out there, especially at night. So yeah, I mean, in my experience, I feel like I let them decide. I don't ever go into a race thinking like for sure I'm gonna do mushrooms during this race. I kind of like let the mushrooms tell me if, if they're going on uh, for the ride with me or not. So that's how I play it. Um, let's see, did I take any mushrooms for my races this year? Canyons, I took them with me. I don't think I took any. Probably a mistake, that race, I was mentally in the gutter nearly the whole time. Long time, it felt like. So, didn't take any there. Let's see, next one, San Juan Solstice. Also, no mushrooms, I don't even think I had any on me. Um, and then Fat Dog, no, I did not bring any mushrooms to Canada. So, <laughs> uh, didn't take any there either. So yeah, I mean, it was a pretty much a sober year of running. Definitely uh, used cannabis a lot, but none of these guys, so I think, I'm running Rufa February 9th. It's a winter ultra. It's gonna be very cold. I've definitely never taken mushrooms for a cold race and I think it might be a secret weapon. So I'm gonna use these. I'm gonna use these products for Rufa and also leading into Rufa, I'm gonna do a lot of my training with this stuff, um, especially the micro and the flow. Um, and then yeah, my free time, especially maybe today, maybe tomorrow, I'm gonna get after some of these gummies and perhaps that chocolate as well. Um, so yeah, I think I might not get to run tomorrow. I'm not sure it's Christmas and busy day. Um, but definitely Tuesday, I'm going to go on a run. I'm going to bring some of this with me. We'll talk about it out there. And, uh, yeah, you may not have known, but a lot of the vlogs I've been on similar products to these. So yeah, thanks for stopping by. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, I, I would hope there's a lot of questions where to reach out to this company. I'll leave a link in the description below. Also, you could just go to their Instagram that I said earlier, uh, my muse life at my muse life on Instagram. So yeah, check them out, give them a shout out, tell them silly runner sent you. And, uh, if you could hit that, like hit the subscribe button and we'll see you guys next time. And we'll really see you guys next time.